Hi, I'm Kombucha Man. Today I'm going to talk about four distinct styles of tea that have been around for centuries. So we're going to start with white tea. White tea is the most delicate of the tea family. White tea can produce fruity, floral, and really easygoing flavors. For a booch noob, this is the tea of choice. There are two distinct varieties of white tea. We like to call it Bai Mudan, or white peony, a blend of the bud, leaf, and stem. It's typically cheapest of the white teas. And silver needle. Silver needle is all bud, dried in the sun, and very delicate. Makes an awesome sun tea kombucha. Both available off our website, and both just delicious. Green tea, an exciting, very large area of tea. Green teas are amazing for fermentation. Your scobies love them. They produce a slightly weaker scoby, but can ferment a little bit quicker than your blacks and your oolongs. Green teas give you floral notes, fruity notes, and sometimes even vegetal, almost grassy notes. They're great as a standalone booch. They're also great to throw into your mixes, turning a what could be a very woody black into a fruity, delicious blend. Emerald green, one of my favorites. Papaya, tropical, fruity, delicious all around kombucha. Green Monkey King, a long leaf, hand pressed green tea that on the palate brings up almonds and spices and on the finish, some beautiful, beautiful green grass. Black tea, another large category of tea made famous by Imperial British tea culture. Those little black tea bags that you see everybody with. During fermentation, black tea gives your scoby an immense amount of nutrients. Thick, strong scobies. Flavors of black tea can range from honey to nuttiness, bark, smoke, wide variety of, of flavor profiles brought to you by the distinct production techniques of these teas. Bushwick black, a smoky, delicious black tea. Really, really amazing for your scoby here. Golden Monkey, a delicious, delicate black with honey notes. After fermentation, this brew is delicious. Oolong tea, like Drunken Concubine, Golden Jade. It can sound more like Bruce Lee films and teas, but don't be fooled. These teas have just as much power as a man that. <laughs> Flavors of oolongs can range from perfume, flowers, fruit, sometimes even nuts. Oolong teas, they can take a little bit longer to brew with, but the finished product can be more exciting and more complex than any other tea. We love taking oolong and blending it with blacks and greens to give the scoby a little bit more nutrients to devour. Golden Jade Oolong, a great beginner's oolong. Fruity and delicious, this makes a great booch. Perfumey and oh so delicate. This is the champagne of oolongs here. Drunken Concubine. Sounds like more like a Bruce Lee film than a tea. This oolong makes a very, very delicate high-end brew. Perfumey, complex, your friends are gonna love this one. 